This is Mary Bailey with Grenada School District. I want to show you how to get your students logged in on their Chromebooks and into Canvas. When you turn your computer on, because this computer is in the school environment, it's automatically connecting to the school's Wi-Fi. I want to show you how you would connect to your at-home Wi-Fi or um, other source of internet. So if I go to the bottom right corner, there's a small bubble. The second icon gets me to Wi-Fi settings. And you can see here that I'm connected to the high school Chrome um, Wi-Fi setting. If I click that, then I see a listing of the other available Wi-Fi opportunities. And you would simply choose to join the one that is set for you at home. So I've powered on my Chromebook. I've connected to my local Wi-Fi connection. Now I'm ready to sign in. You'll notice that at GrenadaK12.com is already on the screen for you. So what you'll type is your child's first name, dot, last name, and that would be your child's birth certificate first name, no spaces, no punctuation. So I have a child's name to work with. So I'll type in first name, dot, last name, hit next. Now it's asking for password, and this is your child's MSYS number. It's a nine-digit number. So uh, this is the first time this student has logged in, so I'm going to scroll down and use the Accept button. Once logging in successfully, the Chromebook will go directly to your Clever site. And all you have to do is click to log in with Google. First time I'm logging in, I'm going to have to designate which account I'm logging in with. Now I'm successfully logged into Clever and I have many icons to choose from. We're looking for Canvas as a virtual student. So in Canvas, Dashboard is your starting point. And Dashboard shows you all the classes your, your child is scheduled in. You'll notice that this child has got quite a few classes. Um, if I go, choose to go to a specific course, let's look in Homeroom. You'll notice now that I, I, my menu changed from dashboard to course, so I know that I'm actually inside a specific course, and I'm in this course period, and I have access to the home button and the modules button. Here's my module for week one, and there's the link for the virtual meeting that was held yesterday on the 10th. I click that link. There's the final link to join the Google Meet as set by the teacher. So to join the Google Meet, we're going to click the link that says Join Google Meet. If this is your first Google Meet to join, you're going to get a couple of pop-ups that you have to deal with. Uh, Meet wants to use the microphone, of course, so your student can be heard. We need to use this block here to say Allow Google Meet to use the microphone. So we're sitting here looking at our dashboard in Canvas, and I want to point out a few things for you. Um, first, it indicates that we're in the dashboard here by turning the icon white. This would indicate we're in an actual course. Our calendar can be used to keep up with assignments and dates. Our inbox is where you're going to communicate with your teacher. So the inbox is separate from an email account. It is specifically uh, designed to allow communication between the teacher and the student within Canvas. So if I needed to email my teacher, if I chose inbox, you can see that this one's blank, nothing has been started. I'm going to compose a message by clicking this icon. I'm going to choose the course that I'm emailing to. Let's email reading. I'm going to email the teachers of that course. Her name is Poe. And then we'll type in our concern. 
then I can compose my, e my message here. So I've chosen my course. I use the icon here to choose that I'm emailing teachers and I chose my teacher's name. I typed in a subject for the message. I typed in my message and when I'm ready, I can press send. Notice that in my inbox, I can look at all courses at one time or I can look at a specific course to see if I've received any correspondence from that specific course. I can also change from my inbox to sent to verify that my message went out. I'll use that box to go back to inbox. And you can use this method to communicate with your teachers. So here's a thumb drive, also known as a zip drive. This is a school issued item. You'll see that we have um, the USB on the back. So what you'll do is press and flip open from the back. We're gonna insert it into the computer gold side up. To see what's on the thumb drive, I'm gonna to go to the bottom left. I'm going to choose the icon for files. And here's my thumb drive there. And you'll see I have several assignments and activities. So let's open one. Let's see this one. So it looks like I have a PowerPoint that's going to teach me something about needs versus wants. I can use the arrow key to move from page to page. So when I'm finished looking at the files and doing work and I'm ready to, to remove my thumb drive, I'll go back to this side where I see my thumb drive and that icon will safely eject it. Once it's gone from your screen, you can remove the device from your laptop. To close the thumb drive, I don't want to rotate it 360 degrees. I want to fold it back from where it came and snap it shut. So I hope this video helps you navigate Canvas Online as well as instructional system delivered through thumb drive.